Welcome to Chilies and Smoke, I'm Brad Pros, and we're making quick pickled onions not one, but two ways. This recipe only takes a couple minutes to make and they come out tangy, juicy, and even a little spicy if you want. Both are so good, I couldn't decide. You go watch the recipe, I gotta eat. So before we chop up the onions, let's go ahead and make the brine. Uh, my basic brine is gonna be one cup water, which I'm gonna add in here without trying to spill, and then I do one cup vinegar, which we'll talk about, a tablespoon of salt and tablespoon of sugar. And I'm gonna do a double batch today. Now with the vinegars, I like to mix them up. Sometimes I like to use rice vinegar. I think it's got a nice, um, really great, just uh, sweeter, more subtle flavor than like the harsh white vinegar. If you use all distilled white vinegar, it does come out pretty sharp. Um, I'm probably just gonna do half and half of that today. I've got a Big old jug of vinegar, because we go through a lot. Okay, let's add this in here. All right, get that going. I'm gonna bring this up to an almost boil, and the only goal here is to warm this enough so that you dissolve the sugar and salt. I am using uh, sea salt for this. Sometimes you can use kosher salt if you want to. I'm gonna use about, since I'm doubling it, sorry, my measurements are off on the screen. Um, it, mine is using two cups of water, two cups of vinegar, two tablespoons and two tablespoons. So instead of sugar today, um, I'm gonna use some agave. Um, you can use agave, of course, you can use honey, uh, you can use sugar, brown sugar works really well. And like I said, the only goal here is you just want this to get to a very gentle boil so everything's dissolved and then we'll kill the heat. All right, I didn't even have to get it to a simmer. Everything just dissolved this time, uh, probably because I used the agave. So I'm gonna go ahead, kill the heat right now. I'm gonna take this off the burner and we'll set this aside and let it cool. All right, so I've got two clean and sanitized mason jars here. Now this is a quick pickling recipe. So this recipe is not meant for canning. Um, these are not fermented pickles. It's just a warm brine that we're gonna pour over everything in here. So we'll fill it up right now. So um, I've got two onions today. I'm gonna do a white and red pickled onion recipe. So we'll have two different variations and I'll show you how we'll do that and kind of the combinations. Um, what I like to do is I like to put the aromatics in the jars first. So for the red one, I'm going to have some black peppercorns. In fact, I think I might actually just put some in both because I really like the flavor. It's gonna add this just nice, sharp, earthy, aromatic flavor. Um, I'm gonna add some, a uh, couple cloves of garlic in the red one, um, and I am going to add some bay leaves in here. And then for the white one, um, I'm gonna add some Mexican oregano. And yes, Mexican oregano is a different herb than regular Mediterranean oregano. I always get that comment, it's probably one of my most uh, commonly asked questions. All right, so let's kick it up a notch. We've got some jalapeno and then some habanero, and I'm not gonna use all three. Uh, just had it out here for color. But anyway, um, for the red uh, pickled onions, we're gonna use jalapeno. I'm actually just going to slice it lengthwise in half like this. I'm actually only gonna use half for the jar, and that was this one. So we'll pop that in here. My kids think a whole jalapeno is a little too spicy, so I'm gonna go with that, but use whatever you'd like. Now for the habanero, um, it's easier for these, and I wanted to have these here. Yes, they are actually all the same uh, chili, but look at the different uh, shapes here. The reason I'm showing you this is because this one is gonna be really hard to trim, um, so let's use one of these. I'm gonna go with the, uh, we're going with the, this one. Now, if you're uncomfortable in trimming an habanero um, or just not careful, you can use gloves. Um, I'm very used to it, so I, I know the pain of rubbing your eyes or anywhere else, picking your nose. <laughs> not that I pick my nose, but be very careful because the oils will get all over your fingers and it is horrible. So um, what we want to do is uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to get a paring knife. I never have it out. So the reason I got a paring knife is because I like to uh, work with a knife that's closer to the size of the ingredient that I'm using, especially in a situation like this. It lets me uh, trim around that seed pod a little bit better. 
Okay, so I've removed that, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into three almost equal size strips, and then in order to not completely burn my mouth off uh, with the pickled onions, I'm gonna cut these into really, really thin slices. Okay, I am gonna get these into the jar here. Before I make a mistake, I'm gonna go wash the hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim the white onion first. It's really up to you on how you want to prepare them. There's no wrong way. I mean, it's your recipe. Well, I guess it's my recipe, but it's your, it's your jar of onions. Okay, now one reason why I like this recipe is simply because I love using this tool. So this is a mandolin slicer. Um, I highly recommend it that you get one if you don't. It is so freaking easy for pickled onions. Um, I like to cut them at like a medium or thinner uh, slice um, and let's let's go for that so just be careful uh, the blade is very dangerous so this is something that it's easy to go fast okay there we go let's go ahead and get that in here and then we will pack the white onions into this jar with the habanero now over time as you try this recipe and this combination of vinegars and spices you're gonna discover what you like for yourself. All right, that's about all I'm gonna yield. Okay, let's go ahead and pack this in here as well. Okay, now I don't completely trust myself to uh, not spill everything on camera, so I've got a little funnel here. So um, the brine is mostly cooled, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in, and hopefully we have enough to completely cover each jar. We'll see. I'll split it, put some in here. Looks like we're probably pretty good. And again, if you're short on brine, you can go ahead and mix just a little water and vinegar just to top it off. It's not a big deal. It doesn't even be perfect. I want to show you a trick on keeping the onions submerged. Let me set this aside. Okay, so I've got these two. These are fermentation weights. Uh, you can see that these are basically just really heavy acrylic weights commonly used for like making pickles, um, kimchi, anything like that. So I like to set these on here just to keep them down at least for this initial resting period. Uh, this is slippy, I might drop it. I just don't wanna splash it all over my face, but these need to wait for at least two hours. It's really better overnight, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna let them hang out for about two hours. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it has actually been about four hours. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check these. So uh, they will have a great pickle flavor after a couple hours. So you don't have to worry too much about that. They'll be better tomorrow. Well, for me, there we go. Okay, I managed to get them. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's some of the chili. That's what I wanted. And it's crazy. It always blows my mind how violently pink these uh red onions always turn. All right, so the brine came out great. The pickled white onions, really sharp flavor. Almost surprised me, I kind of forgot because I almost always make the red. What's interesting to me is that pickled red onions end up being sweeter than you think. Like raw red onions are so much more potent to me than white. I happen to have prepared some chicken shawarma uh, with some uh, hummus, cucumbers, and some pita. Perfect for pickled onions. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of each, just for a nice contrast of flavor. Makes all the flavors come alive. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment below. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.